What's up, what's up, what's up? We at the Bridge of Hip Hop CEO Talk. Got a special guest in the building. It's my man Carvin. What's up, baby? What's up with him, my man? How you doing? Man, I'm good, man. Welcome to man the Bridge is Hip Hop. And I you know, I gotta I gotta tell the people, you know, Carvin's one of them guys that don't just pick up the phone, you know, and, and just <laughs> On the last minute, you know, I had a situation and I had to, you know, give me a guest here tonight. And it's just, I, I couldn't have anybody else, man, in the building, you know. But but my man Carvin, we, 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 we done built some history together, naturally, organically. And, uh, man, it's just good to have you in the building, man. And, you know, able to sit down and talk to me on this CEO talk, you know. Yeah, definitely, man. You know, like I said, you called, man. I seen it pop across the phone. Let me see what my man up to, man. And we just, we just, we here now. You know what I mean? Nothing I can't do. Then you know, you you on what I'm on, the grind. You know what I mean? And creating, and creating. So you know. And man, and that's and that's there. and that's and that's what the and that's what the whole CEO talk is all about, man. It's about you know bringing people on my platform that you know what I'm saying it's all about the grind. It's all about the hustle, and uh, uh, you know. Well, like me, you always said, man, we've been behind the scenes and making 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 projects move, but we've never really been, you know, out in the open. And I mean, it's just this particular platform right here is just about us talking about, you know, the industry right now and, you know, what we've been through and, where, you know, where we're going with ourselves and our brands. Um, you got the rare individual, you know me, AMS. And I mean, we like a kaleidoscope. We come together, but... You know, sometimes I feel like people gotta see that 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 grind behind the hustle, and uh, you know. So, man, can you just tell my you know my guest man a little bit about you know what I'm saying you and what you've done and you know some of the people that you've worked with and sure, you know sure, just sure. how we're getting up to you know where you at now and then we kind of go into it from there. You know. All right, yeah, man. What's up, man? Well, appreciate appreciate you for having me. For first of all, man. Yeah, and I, I I pull up on you, man. You know, last minute call. It don't matter if it, it's a last minute call when it's somebody who reputable. Appreciate you know, that. Another man. rare individual on the other end of the line. Appreciate you know that, I mean? man. So, well, um, well, I come from Macon, Georgia, man. You know what I mean? Macon, Georgia, about an hour away from here. You know, um, I probably got into the music. I, I, I remember my first album I bought was, uh, I think, Brand Nubian. Uh, um, Eight Ball and MJG or something like that. Probably like 93, 94. That's when I just really just fell in love with the music industry. The music industry is what got me to sitting on this side and you wanted me to come to your show. So that's where we'll start at. That ain't mine, it's, that's yours. And um, I muted all mine, man. Mm -hmm. That's gotta be you with all the three phones. Mm -hmm. You. Okay, that's me. My bad. I know. <laughs> we over here with four. We over here with four phones, man. That's the hustle, I'm man. Turn mine <laughs> off, man. And, um, so yeah, I come from Macon, Georgia, man. You know, went to school down in Savannah State for a little while, and um, and um, I ended up running back into somebody in the music industry, and he had it. He had it. He had it. He was building a campaign, my man, Kink, Kinky B. Okay. Co-founder of CTE. Okay. And uh, we linked back up, and um, we both from making and whatnot. But you know, I went off to college, and you know, he was in the you know in the school of hard knocks, and they was coming up, and they started doing his music, and whatnot. And I ran back into him um, in the early two thousands. Okay. And um, I, I started back going around him and their movement, and and I found my lane as an A and R, and um, I got a chance to meet him, man. You actually introduced me to him, and. He came here and, mm -hmm. and did some projects with us at, at the studio, man. Mm -hmm. Cool, cool, cool guy. Very cool dude, man. So I, I kind of like give my credit to, you know, my passion of just grinding and being from making and wanting to do something different. You know, not just want to be stuck down in, you know, in the middle of Georgia. You know, that's what, you know, we from the, you know, they call making the heart of Georgia. So, yeah. you know, coming from having all that culture, you know, a lot of big name people, you know, Otis Red and a lot of people from down there away from making it, you know, that they, they made it out. So I feel like I always wanted to be one of the ones that said I made it out and I and I also came back to help my people. So yeah. you know, that's a big part of my push, you know, wanting to put the light on my city, man. You know, I love making man from the top to the bottom. So, you know. And uh, like I said, me and Kink, we both from making. So when we connected back up and he was doing the music on on the on the level he was doing it, I just found my way in, you yeah. know. 
and that just took me to learning more stuff about what an actual A and R was. I never knew what it was and what they actually did until I got around and they showed me the steps. So you know, I learned it from. I first started with, with in the trap or die era. We were packaging the CDs, going to the streets. But during that time, I was in the studio and I would give my opinion on what I thought about certain things or whatnot, uh, certain songs. And um, eventually, it, it turned into my name being on the back of the CD. You know what I mean? And, <laughs> gotcha. you know, and you just learning and you building and you growing from that. And you just taking it for what it's worth, you know? Gotcha. That's what it is, man. That's how we end up here, man. That's how I end up creating this right individual line because in this industry you you go across so many different walks of people you know some people know how to play that role until they get what they need some people are are only like that for the camera you know what i mean so yeah. i wanted to kind of showcase and, and, and put a highlight on the right individuals so that's how i came up with the right individual collective you know and i mean the first time i the first time i saw you were rare man of course we met you know just you know just being networked together and, and we and i always say this on my you know on my show you know it's you know your network you know your net work is, is way more valuable than your net worth you definitely because you can have all the money in the world but if nobody appreciates you as an individual i mean you're just going to be paying for appreciation mm -hmm. instead of getting appreciation mm -hmm. you know so um i saw the rare individual but i know you're being bashful man you know just uh, you know t tell us tell my people some of the people that you've worked with man like we we trying to come with the ceo talk man we coming from behind I mean, the scenes. You, know, you know the past is the past man you know but you know I, i've worked i i've got i musically i work with uh jeezy um boosie um uh, young buck um uh, Mike Will, Metro Boomin, Sunny Digital, um, man, so many people. Warren G. I got, I got, like, I got a New York file. Anybody you can think of in New York, Jada, <laughs> um, my man Shaheem. There's so many people that I've came across, man. Yeah. Just being in the midst of coming up in our era, working with Coach K, and it's just so many people I met. You know, I've been blessed to be in a in a good situation and God gave me a, a um, that's my, my my gift to the world. I'm a people person. Yeah, yeah. I get in and I make it make it happen. So, you know, it's so many people, man. I don't really, you no, know, no, I, no, I, I that's just, just how I, I am. You hey, know man, what I you mean? Know, it's, it, it's no such thing as name dropping, man. It's just, you know, I like to give people their flowers, man, while, we, yeah, while man, we're here, you know. Early Migos, I put their clothing line together. I put Boosie clothing line together. Um, Back then, you know, I, I just was taking my, my relationships and just, like you said, your network, your network can influence your net worth, but your, sometimes your net worth can't influence your net worth. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Exactly. Money can't buy everything that, your net, that you can get in your network. You exactly. know what I mean? Exactly. So I just try to just stay back and just keep that as solid and, 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 and based off integrity integrity more than Cause, anything. Cause man, you know, keeping it real, there's been a lot of relationships that started monetarily mm -hmm. because, you know, I had capital to uh, to invest in myself. And then, you know, when the individuals, you know, like met me, it was just like, man, you know, for me, you know, it's not about the money, but I do appreciate you spending the money with me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's like, once I got there with the money, they actually saw me as an individual. So. It, it, we we was able to get on the phone or text and do things that wasn't involved with money. Yeah, just but, like us. But just but like it, us. but but it, of course it's it's like it's like man when you like 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 you for example like you've never taken advantage man you, you come grab the studio I give you a discount or whatever but you know that shows me that you don't mind paying your way you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying and mm -hmm. and then it gets to the point where man y'all got you man just rock out bring you know it, it, and it comes to that point because it's like okay I see he's a hustler and a grinder but he did bring something to the table so for me as a CEO and I always tell people this man it's not and and, and I got a quote because uh, ugly money quoted it but we all follow rap jig or not and he, he one of his famous quotes is you don't have to have a big budget, but you got to have a budget. Yeah, you got to have some, man. You got to have, because something will you, get man. you to the table. Your car won't drive without no gas, <laughs> yeah, but you can put $5, 10 $20 in there. You can go somewhere. You go somewhere, So, you know, man, that's, so. that's how you got to look at your career, man. Yeah. You want to go far, you want to go, you just want to go to point eight. 
But see, you know? but see, I always tell an artist, man, you know, we're going to get to the music side of it. It's like you a new product on a shelf, mm -hmm. and this is the way I look at it. Mm -hmm. I can't get that new product on a shelf to where it needs to be without marketing and advertising, you know, without moving the vessel of that product, you know what I mean? So it's kind of like the biggest companies in the world, like Coca-Cola or, or, or Nabisco or whatever, when they come out with a new product, what's the first thing you see? You see marketing and advertising of that new product. It doesn't take away from the Coca Cola. A month before it come out. Exactly. You can't take you can't take away from the Coca Cola. But if they want to put out a fruity Coke, and they want you to drink it because that's under their product line, they're gonna market and advertise it. Mm -hmm. So I tell individuals, I can't move you without good marketing and advertising. Yeah. So don't waste your time. Hit me up saying, "Oh, I need a manager." <laughs> you think you need a manager? You need to create a fan base. Yes. You, know you gotta I mean? give you know, me something to manage. I first. have to not answer a lot of stuff because people are you. People say, "Hey, man, I need you to manage me." Then I go check them out. They got 125 followers and two videos. You know what I mean? It's no, no, dis not to discredit them or make them discourage them or whatnot, but. You don't need a manager yet. You need to build a fan base. Yeah. You need to keep going. Yeah. You need to get heard. You need to create some awareness. You know what I mean? So it's a lot when it comes to this this new age and, and, and music and artists. You know what I mean? It's a lot that these artists have to go through to even get noticed. You know what I mean? So it, it's a lot. It's a lot. When Man, I was that. reading the other day 100,000. Uh, Every Friday. Uh, no, daily now. It's daily now? It's daily now. 100,000 upstreams a day. So on a set on seven, seven days a week, it used to be like right at like four hundred thousand a week, but now it's over seven hundred thousand new records being introduced to the streaming platforms a week. So how you expect to get noticed? You know what I mean? So how do you stand out from that? That's why you see so much clout chasing. <laughs> That's why you see all this dumb shit. I have to look at the camera. No, cause, it's cool, cause man. They, they it's doing cool, too man. much out here because, but <laughs> we gonna zoom you in do. on that, right? That's there. what they have to do to get attention. <laughs> to get now. It's not even about the music anymore. It's about what can you do to get the people to pay attention, and then we'll sprinkle the music in afterwards. They yeah. want their attention, so, and that's a lot. You and me, we not attention whores. We don't, we don't need the attention. We need the what. The money, we need the man. money. We you know what money, I mean? Man. So if it's not any money involved, you we'll play the background. That's what we were built off of. Yeah. You know, BTS behind the scenes. Yeah. You know, but oh man, it's a lot, man. But I mean, you know, on, on the music side, it's not so much as, you know, like, you know, people be like, Well, you just said, you know, money ain't everything, but I'm not saying that money doesn't make a product move. I said money don't buy relationships. Mm -mm. So if if we got money to properly market and advertise you, I take that and match it up with my relationships and I make things happen. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's the difference. Because, you know, in this new age of, of, of uh, search engine optimization, viral sensation with TikToks and reels, you know, it's, it's new marketing strategies that, going back to what you just said, man, you just said something, it's like, Man, we used to package the product. I don't mm -hmm. think people realize how hard it was then, man. They package it now. They just package it differently. They package it on the internet now. We packaged it physically. They package it on the internet now. So they package it up in a TikTok. They package it up in an uh, influencer commercial. But how much would y'all spend on packaging and marketing and promotion of a product mm -hmm. that was just raw that you had to get out to the world without Let's the just power say of social budget. media? Let's just say T-shirt budget. budget. The T-shirt budget itself was maybe seventy five hundred to ten thousand. Every that's just at the beginning of the project. You know, wow. you got to restock wow. in the middle of the project. You know what I mean? So it's it just that's just T-shirt budget, and that's it's ridiculous. Then we have so many different types of T-shirts. It's just the promo and the marketing you got to really put into. That's just the T-shirts, okay? Then you got the CDs you had to pay for. Then you got to pay for the artwork. Then you got to play for the plastic seeds to put in. Then you got to play for the posters. Then you got to pay for the manpower for everybody to go in the streets and put it out. The street team. Yeah, the street team. Then you got to pay for the helicopter to go over birthday bash and throw that shit out over birthday bash. It's so much you got to do to make a real stink. Oh, y'all weren't, oh, weren't, weren't playing with the marketing. Oh, yeah, it was a different type of... They don't do guerrilla marketing anymore. That's what it was called. They on the internet now. We do. We did guerrilla marketing. So they, 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 they internet... 
guerrilla yeah. marketing now. They do it differently now. Or they what they what they call it? They trying the to king of that shit was E Class and them Lex Promotions down there in Miami. They used to go. Oh, they crazy. was killing it. What they would go crazy, slip and slide. You come down through that Miami. That, that's where it come from. We seen them go crazy like that. We took that shit and brought it back. We seen Fifty go crazy. I remember we was on tour. Fifty pull up. He had like five or six black tour buses for him and the G unit. Everybody had their own bus. Shit was crazy. Wow. So you know, moving around and the marketing and the promotions, that makes people believe the story. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So that's why you need the budget. It ain't for us to put it in our pockets. It's for us to help make you more believable. You know what I mean? And yeah. put it in these people's faces and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, take money to make money. Yeah, I was like, like I just, I just picked up a new client and uh, uh, he, 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 you know, had, you know, a big number in radio. Mm -hmm. And, and I was like, man, that's cool. But you're doing it backwards. I was like, because nobody knows your artist yet. So I'm changing this whole game and flipping his, his, uh, his product to a visual so that we can actually vis visibly see the artist first. Yeah. Then we'll go back. Yeah, you know needs, what I'm saying? He needs to live on YouTube. He needs right to live now. on YouTube. Right now, man. He needs, he needs pump to pump that marketing dollars up and get it. Because you can reach more people with that budget. Because like I was telling him, if you had spent the same budget in marketing and advertising, your artist would be known by now. Yep. And that's a lot of people that, man, you know, I went, I signed the artist, man, a couple years back, man, Freaky. We did business with yeah. Freaky. And uh, we went to Interscope. We got a single deal for one record. You was working that project. Yeah, we worked that project. Just one song. We got a quarter million, one song, right? And we had a couple partners in the business and whatnot. It's just like certain people, I just feel like if you don't really love it, you shouldn't get in the game. You know what I mean? Because you you throw off everything. With my boy, we had to rebuild this build this whole momentum up again because they stopped the momentum. When the money come, everybody like, man, this let me get it and go this way. We'll go that way with it. You gotta you gotta stay focused, man. So I say that to say, you jump it in this game. It take money and it takes time. Nothing happens overnight unless you got a whole bunch of money or you know the right people. Gotcha. You know what I mean? So just say, you know, with with with, with the deal of a quarter million dollars, like you you you're saying from 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 the project, it was kinda like, whew, we got here versus taking that bread and then reinvesting it back the right way. Exactly. I've seen that a couple of times. Exactly. I've seen that a couple of times. We I've, got here now, man. She down there. They I gave got us my two. money back, man. I got my you money back. I mean? I'm happy now. I'm happy now. Because some people don't see it that far. I'm telling them, no, I see it further, but if you just, like, I'm, I'm just the manager. I get my 15, 20%, and I'm moving on. Like, I don't control the bulk share of, of the what's budget. going on. So gotcha. whatever they say at the end of the day really and truly this goes. Was, was you know what I mean? So we did what we did. We broke bread, and we kept going. You know, you're still moving around. But you still was moving, though. Definitely. We still definitely moving to this day. I'm about to do a verse tomorrow. Gotcha. I might end up booking the room tomorrow. Gotcha. We got a verse, a paid verse tomorrow. So it, it, Music is just the car you get in, man. Like I was telling you earlier, earlier, music got me to being able to move around and be in some of the rooms and on some stages with some people who can pull some strings and press some buttons. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I was scrolling. I was scrolling. And I saw um, uh, my man uh, Wallow with uh, with with Gilly. I mean, they just did a big deal. I'm super, super happy for them. I, I didn't know. It. This is the laws of six degrees of separation. Okay. Because I honestly didn't know him, but I started following him on social media. And this was like when he had the whole little million dollar um, thing he was pushing, like his brand. His, no, it was uh, it's always money in Philadelphia. Okay, always money in Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. And then he started working with... Gilly, and then they did the thing, but he was doing his own like little skit thing, mm -hmm. like, and Every I started, day. yeah, and I started just following him separately mm -hmm. from when he actually got on and started doing the million dollar thing, right? Yeah, that million dollar worth of game came, he came home, million dollar worth of game came like maybe two or three years after he had been home. Okay, gotcha. He, he hit the streets every day, waking up five, six, eight, yeah. Going so crazy. I start, I started following him. That's when you was following. Yeah, him. Yeah, I was following him. He was just in the rain, yes, from yeah, the street, exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. He went viral, and I just, but it was just something about him, man, and 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 and, and I'm bringing that up because 
I was scrolling through his page, and I know they just they just did a crazy deal, mm-hmm. and I'm super happy for him, man. Congrats, because, Wallow Gillard, man. Whole million dollar worth of gang stuff, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I'm super happy for him, man. I'm I'm one of them guys, man. I just love seeing yeah. all of my people on yeah. top. You we know clapping. what I'm saying? Yeah. We clapping when they give them their roses, clapping. man. We ain't you know what I'm saying? So, fake. so, so the laws, the the, the 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 laws of six degrees of separation. As I'm going through his page, I know your brand. And I see him with your product on. Yeah. And I'm like. He is that. I'm like, that's my dog's he shirt that, that he, product that he got on. Then I saw you picking him up at the airport. And I'm like, holy crap. I think Carvin know him. <laughs> Not know him. That's my guy. Yeah, man. But like, but it, it's just, it, it brings me back to the rare individual. You know what I mean? Because like, I don't know what it is about me, man. But I get on that social media and. And, and and I could just and people say, man, you can't see stuff through the social media, but it's not. I, I wouldn't say that it's seeing stuff, man. It's just certain cer- certain stuff is a is a cap, you know. And I can I can come right through that, but some of it, man, is really people using that platform because that's what they got, and they're and they're working with what they got, and it's mm-hmm. like it's kind of like you can see that. It's kind it's kind of like man when Gee. I used to watch Jaquees. I used to watch him on, on do his quee mixes, mm-hmm. and I fell in love with the quee mixes, and it was like I wanted to, you know, meet this kid, and and, and so I, I brought him down to Mississippi, and then me and Jonathan, his manager, uh, we started working together, and you know, we did the Kings of the Throne tour, and so that was kind of like in his early stages of becoming an artist, but it was something that I, I saw watching him on YouTube doing the quee mixes, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So. I don't know. I don't, I wouldn't call it a gift, man. But I could just. You're a visionary, man. Man, You're a visionary, man, man. You can see it, man. Man, I'm telling you, man. And it's you are a rare individual. You are that, man. So tell the people what does rare individual mean to you? And I know we we talked about me me and Ugly Money last week. We talked about me me and Nietzsche. We talked about brand building and products, and, and you know and I'll keep talking about AMS because I didn't get this talk show without that brand, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, building me up to mm-hmm. this particular network and the network that I had last week and the networks that I'm going to have. But it's collectively, you know, me wanting to just bring these rare individuals that I know that stays behind the scene, but I'm, st- I'm seeing them starting to come to light. So I want you to just kind of share that, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, the rare individual collective, man, is it's more than just clothes and shirts and hats and you know what I mean, different stuff and whatnot. It, it came from something real, you know. I, it, it, back in 2015, 2014, 15, 2016, I was I was going through a transition. You know, I had to like kind of like wipe my slate clean and start fresh. So I wanted something for me, but I wanted something with a re- some real substance behind it and not just, you know, just a run of the mill of, we getting money entertainment, you know what I mean, or something yeah. like that. So I just wanted to sit down and really wrap my mind around it. And you know, I had ran across so many people and dealt with so many people that know how to play their role so well. I like to call it fake real. You know, like they know how to fake like they're real. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And it and it stung me on so many levels. You know what I mean? Personal levels, business levels. And it just made me realize, like, man, I'm not like that. I'm different. If, 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 if I was in this position, I would have done that differently. So it, it just kept, I just kept trying to figure out how to wrap my mind around it. And um, the rare individual collective, it just, it just came to me because it's, it's, it's something that's it's, it's very, very real. You know what I mean? It's very real. It's, it has morals. It's a person. It's, it's, some, it's, a, it's a thing. It's a, it's a person, place, a thing. So now it's anything. You know what I mean? Being a rare, rare, it could be anything, but being a rare individual, it's a certain code that you walk by. You yeah. know what I mean? Like today, you call me, and what two o'clock today? And say, yeah. hey man, I need you at seven thirty. Five and a half hours. I need you at seven thirty. I said, okay, I'm gonna be there. No I hesitation. Didn't be here at seven thirty, but I got here. No I hesitation up. though. I pulled up. Now, I like, 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 I, it was, it, it, listen, it was, it was, it was, it was no hesitation. You know, like it, it was no it was no hesitation like like in your voice or nothing like that. Mm-mm. You know, I just called you in and and, 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 and you just and you just came. 
You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's a rare individual. Yeah. So, so I wanted to highlight people like you and I. That's what that was the that was the main reason for me creating this and starting this movement. You know, so that's pretty much what it's based off of, man. Just doing something opposite of fake. You know what I mean? And I just you. trying to highlight the people that do what they say to do. Like we went out to Texas, we did that run out there in yeah, Texas. Yeah, yeah. And the promoter didn't do what he was supposed to do. You said, "Hey, don't worry, Carbon. Check your cash out." You still sent the money. <laughs> Even though you weren't, you it wasn't really on you. You still sent the back end of what he was supposed to do. Yeah. You sent it. You a rare individual. You would even though it wasn't on you. You still said, "Man, I'm in it. I put y'all. I put it together. I got y'all out there. <laughs> Here go the money." You know what I mean? That's certain stuff. People won't do that. A lot yeah. of people gonna leave you high and dry. Be like, "That's on you." No. You know man. what I mean? There's something different about you. That's that's. That's why I created this. That's uh, why I created this. Man, I appreciate movement. it. But man, it's been it's been it's been it's been plenty of times that I've done that, man. Because first of all, if I make a call and we putting a play together, that's what it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. And I couldn't put you in a financial situation just based on an obligation that you made to me, and I couldn't keep up with it. So if that makes me rare, man. That just makes me rare. <laughs> yeah. Man, it's been it's been times, man, that I've done deals with promoters. And I could just see it on their face, man, that they, they couldn't take they that type of it. loss, right? They ain't got it. <laughs> man, I done just I done just said, man, take the whole door, man. Take it. It's not gonna hurt me. Mm -mm. Take take the whole door, bro. Like, Cause like you blessed you take, by the best, man. It's take a the different whole box. Type of rareness, man. But 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 you know, but you know, when I done done stuff like that, bro, mm -hmm. I wake up the next morning, I done closed another real estate deal. Or I done got another development from somewhere else. Because your eggs ain't in one basket. You know what I no, mean? No, it's not. But you it's like, man, host. listen, I done done that so many times. And the promoters be like, man, bro, I appreciate it, man, because I used every penny I had to do this show with you. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, bro, listen, bro. Listen, man. We, 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 man, ain't nothing but $7,000 in that box, man. You take it. <laughs> you take it, man. Because we just put up 20000 on the back end. Mm -hmm. I know that's all you got, man. Take it. Take Little sitting on the day, bro. I'm going to be all right. I done done that several times, man. Solid. And, and that would make you a rare individual, But it's, it's, man, so. it's been some good times I done won, too. So with this, with this music game, man, I, I got a... the music business. Man, yeah. In, in my music business, is I got a balance sheet called the game of life. Mm -hmm. I balance the books when I'm done. I can't balance it off of one situation because I understand that life is not perfect. Because people look at... I, I, like I said, like... I've had some unfortunate situations, but I still don't, I, still, I look at them as a lesson. I listen and I learn on a daily from everything I go through in life. So now going forward, I know how to skip over certain situations that don't, you know, don't sit or don't sit right with my intuition. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's just part of being a rare individual, man. And like I said, it starts with in the youth, man. Like that's why this whole movement, it's rare individual collective, man. I got a non-profit foundation I'm going to build up on Yeah, let's this, definitely man. talk about that, And we're going to step into the schools. You know, we're going to talk to these kids. We're going to bring people like Wallow around. We're going to bring, I got a couple people in the finance world around. And we're going to show these people how they can be, they too can be rare, how they are rare. They were born rare. You know, especially if you got some melanin in your skin. You know, it's a, it's a deep story behind what we got going on. We are rare individuals. We are them. You know what I mean? We we are the lost children. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you got to teach. You got to guide. And, you know, I was blessed, man. I've been in the room with some people that, you know, people would just would love to fan out for, man. And I just had to keep my cool and just be me. <laughs> so, you know, I, I've experienced some things, man, and I just want to share it. You know, that's it. That's what this rare individual movement is about. Me coming from a small town, making Georgia, going to college, coming to this big city of Atlanta and moving around. It's a lot of rooms you can go in around here and yeah. they know me. It's a lot you know of rooms. I mean? It's well, a lot of rooms you can go in yeah, and they I mean, know me. And well. I mean, but you know, I ain't, I ain't, you know, like I said, it's been it's been it's been good good talk, you know what I'm saying? With anybody that 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 knows you. So I know that you've kept it real and you're a rare individual. Mm -hmm. I wanna ask you, um looking at where where the state of hip hop is right now, I I, I heard you say that you worked early with the Migos and Coach K, and you know we just had a tragic loss with um, with uh, takeoff, man. with Takeoff, man. You know, 
Good kid. Man. What do you what do you what do you feel or what do you believe, you know, uh the state of hip hop is with you know, losing our young black men, man, that and I know I know you can't even put this particular situation inside of, of hip hop, but because he was a hip hop artist, I, I just, you know, my respect to him is just being able to, you know, just, just have a discussion about it, you know? Yeah, man, like I said earlier, man, rest in peace, take off, man, and, and much respect to to their family, man, their whole, you know, Young Rich Nation family, man, all they, they crew from what they hit, all they people, man, you know, coach, man, I know they, 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 they going through some tough times right now, man. And that kid, he was the most, the least problematic, most humble. Oh man, I was around him a few times, man. And he just so cool, bro. He just cool, man. I, I just know it's, it's, it's they're devastated right now, man. And I, I don't even want to disrespect that what they're going through, you know. Much love to the to the to the fam and whatnot, man. And hold y'all heads up, man. Y'all get through this tight trying time, man. But. In regards to the music industry and where we at right now, I just think people worry about stuff that doesn't matter. They spending, they standing on business, but does that matter in the long run? Like, are you spending and standing on business 24 hours of your life or your day? Nah, are you just doing this because that's what they want in music right now? I think people are afraid to be themselves and they just want to do what the norm is. You know what I mean? Like. You gotta get out of that. That's why I got. That's why you gotta teach these people. Let them know they're rare individuals. You were born rare. People down the line in your lineage, man, they did some amazing things. You know what I mean? Stop doing the self destruction, self abomination, genocide. Like it's just crazy, man. We gotta wake up. We gotta wake up, man. You know. And um, I'm glad you asked me that because musically, you 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 gotta have some people that that change that that were out there one way and now they see it a different way right yeah like my man slick puller okay right slick puller goes by script puller now because he's in the scripts he's in the book you know what i mean and not just the bible it's just he's deep he's putting scripts on all different type of stuff he really was a united streets dope boys of america he was in the usda he was kicking it one way went through some things in life and and, and kind of like he just changed. He see it differently now. You script know what I'm saying? Now. Script. He's in the scripts now. Every day, Pop and I had to play some of his music. You'd be like, wow. Because it's on the vibe. It's the sounds, but it's no cursing. It's it's uplifting. It's teaching. It's letting you know you are them. You are the lost child. Like, wake up. You know what I mean? It, and it's like, we now have an example of but someone you said, but you said some, But you said some names. Like, we said Grand Nubian. Like, mm-hmm. No, when, when you know, when, when I, I got a segment I'm gonna I'm I'm say uh, when we get close to time that I like to do, so I ain't, I ain't gonna go there right now. But but, but but script puller, yeah, script puller, that's what he on. He on something positive, man. He got to check out his project, it's called Scriptures of Truth, man. That's something big that we working on, man. we about to do this situation with one RPM. I mean, Nick Love over there at one RPM in Orlando, okay. And you know, we're about to put some things together, man, with Slate's new campaign. Well, script. Script, 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 script puller. puller. Uh-huh. Uzi Al Holly Yahoo. You know, he on he on a whole new vibe, man. And it's just I'm glad that I could be a part of it and witness it. Like we came from one spectrum of it and now we on this spectrum of it, but it's still authentic. It's, it, when you when you listen to it and you hear him and you meet him and, and you hear how he's talking now and what he's what he's he's teaching now. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's teaching a different way. Because at first he was teaching you uh how to throw it up in the club and you know shake it like you know what I mean yeah now he's teaching you like how to get and get get to the top and get there the right way with with the big man you know gotcha. with y'all man so it's gonna take people like that and and, and people like us in the media and, and, and doing this journalism 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 to put them out there and give them the opportunity because there's a lot of people doing this speaking for y'all but they not getting the light on them because people want to hear spin, murder, kill, shake your ass, my pussy wet, and, and <laughs> you know, that's what they want to hear. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what they so, put on the forefront, man. So it's like we trying to, we are waking up the people, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, man, because I just remember, man, fight the power of, 
But it was always you hustling and I, music. T-Y. But it was always the ghetto boys. It was always the NWA. It was always the hustler music. But each and every faction of that, they had something where it was like, hey, do it this way, though, to go. All this comes behind it. They, it was a story behind it. They yeah. just didn't say, shoot, kill, murder, murder. Nah, you know what I mean? It was trying to do something positive. But if you yeah, play even, with me, yeah, even, even with I'm, Pop, I'm even defend. with Pop, the thug life, he, but he had Brenda's got a baby. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's some like substance there. It was some substance in there. So that's what we got to get to, man. Kendrick Lamar, he tries. J. Cole, he does a good damn job. And, you know, just like somebody like, just say, like 21 Savage, if he was to speak on music, speak on just being cool, like being a father, not without the way he does it all the time. You know what I mean? You got to leave. Because I remember he was talking about, he made a comment saying, like, somebody lost their lives. Made, I think it was PNB Rock, rest in peace. And, yeah. and I think 21 made a comment. And they like, man, you just said you you spinning and you doing this in your song. I don't think you got the right to say this. And he said, well, man, you know, you think a nigga live like that all day long off camera? You know what I mean? So yeah. it's kind of like, okay, we know you don't, but that's what you kick it all the time. So just if he was kicking it on something different, like, yeah, he, he would do. would change the mentality of yeah. people that listen to his music. Like, he do this money thing, this financial literacy thing, and that's dope, but... I think he just people like him can control it and make people see the world differently if they got on some let's save our people type yeah. shit. You know what yeah. I mean? We that's why. That's why when I heard Lil Baby do that um, bigger picture. Oh my god, I love that record, man. But he went. He hadn't did one like that since. I love that record, though. He, man. he need to. He need to keep making music like that. That record Talk was huge, people, man. Talk to the people. They need your guidance. You the got lyricism the that ball. he put in that record was huge, man. Lil Baby, Lil Baby, balling. <laughs> the baby balling. He ain't talking to the people no more. He he got on the bigger <laughs> picture, man. He went right back to balling. <laughs> but I like that bigger picture record, man. And I like little baby for you know for him how he hit the game and he did what he did. You know what I mean? And he moving around, but I still feel like somebody has to take the torch. And so you know, check my man project out. It's been out three and a half, maybe four years. Scripts is the truth couple videos off of it. He getting ready to drop. He got three more campaigns he about to drop right now. Stand for y'all. Um, he got a lot going on, man. Script script or die. We got a real campaign. We about oh, yeah, to start. I got to check that, bro. I got to check that, bro. I got to check that. hit the button and go, man. You I got to check that, man. Make sure you keep me in a loop on that. Definitely. But, yeah, that's what music is, man. Like, music, they they, they so caught up in what's, what's hot or what's cool. We got to get out of that, man, and make some shit that's gonna not saying that that won't live on but you got to make something that you can look back on and be like damn i did something for my people it other than that we we just we helping the bigger plan out yeah you know you Which know it's this, a bigger plan the, the, yeah the bigger plan is for, for us to destroy ourselves you know what i mean it's a bigger plan yeah so you know that's at the end of the day man like even me like carbon like you know that name come from people's you, you know People assume or think it's this, that, and the third, but it's like it's an element in life you can't live without. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So you can't live without me. So if if I look at myself as as something in life that people can't live without, I'm just trying to share that and just give it out. So yeah. I'm gonna just keep sharing as much game as I can. Man. Yeah. You know? Can't live without carbon, man. You know that's what I'm trying to share. Can't spell game dreams without too. AMS either. Exactly. You know what I mean? <laughs> so you gotta have a vision, man. But this music shit, man. People got to damn. They got to get get right, man. Get right, man. We need somebody to lead the way, man. That's that's just the the state of music is is crazy, man. I listen to it, man. You know, I got some favorites. I like them. Kodak Black is one of my favorites. Yeah. Future, he the biggest. He the biggest. Twenty One Savage, I like him. But I just feel like at some point you gotta when we when we in the crisis that we in now, everybody on the same thing, yeah. spinning and stepping and. Spinning and stepping and stepping and spinning. <laughs> you know what I mean? Spinning and spinning and spinning and spinning. They, just, they just, doing viral videos in the jewelry store. They yeah. doing telephone stacks That's of true, money. Man. That's it. And 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 man, when you when you go watch the billionaires, they they like, man, listen, if they gotta do all that, man, they don't got it. It's just different, man. I just I just want these people to get some real money. You'll never see Tyler Perry doing that shit. Yeah, never see that, man. You'll never see. Look at that, that house man. he built. You'll never see it, man. You never see no even the do people it that do it, like even Birdman, like Birdman with the big, with the it, he is the number one stoner. You don't really see him putting on like that no more. more. 
you know, he really got it. Like, why do I have to keep giving it man, to you? Man, I was hey, listen, man. Over. I was talking to I was talking to my boy. He said Birdman came down to New Orleans, and uh, Juvie got the the Tuesday night down there. Now, mm-hmm. Birdman pulled up on him, and he was like, um, "Birdman, you said you was gonna buy at the bar." You gonna buy at the bar. You know, he pulled up with his whole little clique. Mm-hmm. And a uh, very man looked at this man and said, Yo, get the bag. <laughs> <laughs> he said he got the bag. He, Secu- cash, he said it's cash it's money. Man. He said, Man, the man, the security came over there with a bag full of cash. Birdman bought out the whole bar. That's like when we watched him on um that episode. I think he was taking Ray's name to get some earrings or something like that. It was one of them shows he was watching. And he said they, story, they were asking him. She was like, how much it costs? He was like, if you got to ask how much it costs, you can't afford it. And tell you, stop, sit back. <laughs> no, nah, the true story, I was on tour with Birdman, man. I went on tour with Birdman, 42 nights, man. We was on America's Most Wanted, man. And uh, Birdman, um, Birdman liked that. He keep the cash on him. Yeah, he liked that. Birdman really, really, truly is that. He cash money, yeah, bro. Yeah, Beatrice. I love that, man. I fuck with the OG, man. He said, he said a standard, man. And, you know. He came out hard, he let you know, look, this is what we do. Now it's like, okay, he got business with young boy, he got business with Drake, he got business with Nicki Minaj. Come on, man. He, he stand had, on he, that business. He had business with Young Thug and Rich Homie. He had Future when Future were popping, they were doing jumping out the Bugatti. You know, Bird Man just know how to get money. Yeah, him, still, man, man. I, I I had the luxury, man. I was working with Turk for a little while and uh Man, we had got, we was down in Miami, man, and we, we got an invite. I watched the 50th Super Bowl at Birdman's house, man, in Miami. Mm. That was a that was a moment. I got a picture with the with the cash money um wall and it's nostal- it's he had the Gucci bicycle and the man, that was a just to meet just to be in his presence. But I wasn't yeah. on no groupie shit. That's cause, how I, cause feel. It, I mm. really was just in the room, I was watching. You know what I'm saying? He had no big, you know, no. He had his, his solid people around him, man. But just to be welcomed in the house, man, and just sit down and we was just watching the game. It was just a good time. Yeah, Slim man. came in, man. They was just like super, super good guys, man. Yeah, Birdman, real laid back, cool dude, man. For yeah, real, man. man. He just, he just liked that, man. Like that. Now, I ain't even, I ain't, I ain't even take a picture, man, because I ain't want to be like. I was just so in awe with. With the mansion and just just there, man. But like I said, man, I done had some dope experiences. That was one of them. And music got you here, though, right? Yeah, music got me here, man. As far as <laughs> as far as me as, as far as me having that the passion, music business got you. Yeah, here. man. Because not actually every time it's not always the music. Nah, it's man. Doing the show, but the show is based off the music. Yeah, you know what I mean. So the yeah. music business is what got us here today, yeah, man. man. We here now, man. I tell people, man, it's business, business. So I got this segment in my show. Mm-hmm. You see how we got the bridge? That's actually the Brooklyn Bridge. I had my guy design that. That's the Brooklyn Bridge with the two towers on it, on the bridge itself. Mm-hmm. And I and I put that semblance in the bridge as hip hop because we all know where hip hop originated, where it started at. So I wanted to always have that as a part of my my logo and my brand. Definitely so, started up up top, man. Yeah. I, I, I so get I have love this. In New York. I get mad love in New York. B. So so I have so I have this thing where I like to do the bridge as hip hop, where we look at. <laughs> What first inspired you? You kind of started with it earlier, threw me off. But what first? <laughs> what first? Yeah. Inspired you, and and then you bring that bridge to an artist that's current now, and that's and that's bridging the hip hop. Yeah, man. Like I said. So give me one of them my, old heads my, and my first give me one of them CDs youngsters that I bought. I'm telling you, it was brand new, man. And they, cause they had this uh, Minister Society skit in there, and uh, Trey and MC Eight was talking. They all, hey, hey, your homie, nigga, you know. The, but when they riding in the car, yeah, that, that skit is on that album, and it just, and it just, just opened up my mind. Like, damn, you can do this to music. You can take a, <laughs> a movie skit and put it on a music skit. You know what I mean? It just opened up my mind. And then after that, it was uh coming out hard. Eight Ball MJG, their first project. And from there, I just, I just went crazy. Oh, that's crazy, on music. man! Ugly Money was signed to Eight Ball. Yeah, yeah, you? yeah. He was signed to him. Off yeah. my show, man. That's I, crazy. I remember that he told me that. And um, I would say Brand Nubian. They, they, they were the the lyrical. They kick it. They flow, and they were different with it. 
you know, and then I, I came, like I said, when I first got around Slick Puller, that's what Slick Puller was, just a, a trench version to me Okay. of that, you know what I mean? And now to come full circle with, 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 with how I look at music now, how I'm a fan of Kodak Black, if you listen okay. to Kodak Black, he, he doesn't just make, he spins and he's stepping and he's doing all of that too, but if you listen to the boy, he got some substance in there. And you can hear his pain, you can hear Kodak, he really grew up seeing stuff differently. You know what I mean? He got a real old soul and he talking about life. That's what I like about him. He got a song called Calling My Spirit. I'm gonna go I check it out. I got Like That. You know what I mean? It's just like he really talking to the people. You know what I mean? I just rock with him. I rock, I rock with him for that type of stuff, man. All of his other more commercial big hits that, that got him going, okay, that's cool, but I like him for that stuff that they don't shoot the video for. You gotcha. know what I mean? Yeah. So that's that's the substance part of him to me. You know gotcha. what I mean? When it comes to that music stuff, man. So that's what I feel like bring my journey full circle, man, just because it's not all about what what everybody wants to hear, you know what I mean? But I'm saying, like, that's your bridge, man. That's my bridge. That's your bridge. That's my bridge. And I mean, from where it, from where it started to what you like now, it's it's to me it just sounds like your bridge is substance. Mm-hmm. And everything in the middle is cap, you know. Uh, that's your bridge, man, and that's what my platform is, is on, man. That's what's up, man. You got a dope platform, man. I appreciate you for having me, man. I'm going to have you on my you, platform man. real man. soon. Hey, it's man. coming I, real soon, man. I can't wait, man. I can't wait, man. Well, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to give you flowers while you're here, man. I appreciate it. Appreciate everything you've done, everything you continue to do. Thanks for blessing my platform, man. And uh, the, that's the bridge is hip hop, man. Hey, man. I'll be back, man. It's Black Friday. I got a new collection. I got a lot of stuff dropping, man. I'll you got to bring man. it back. Got to bring it back. I got to get back. my I gotta get my clothes in there. Yeah, bro. don't worry. I got you something together I already, man. Appreciate y'all for having me, man. The bridge is hip hop. Pay attention now. We building something, my we man. Building something, building man. Building something, man. Yeah, man. Dope, dope. Dope interview.